The Haunted Palace by Edgar Allan Poe. In the greenest of our valleys, by good angels tenanted, once a fair and stately palace, radiant palace, wearied its head in the monarch's touch dominion, it stood there. Never seraph spread opinion over fabric half so fair. Banners yellow, glorious, golden, on its roof did float and flow. This, all oh, this, was in the olden time long ago. And every gentle air that dallied in that sweet day, along the ramparts plummed and pallid, a winged odor went away. Wanderers in that happy valley, through two windows saw spirits moving musically to a lute's well-tuned law. Round about the throne were sitting poor Fildin, in state his glory well befitting, the ruler of the realm was sin. And all with pearl and ruby glowing was the fair palace door, through which came flowing, 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 and sparkling evermore a troop of pickles, whose sweet duty was but to sing in voices of surpassing beauty the wit and wisdom of their king. But evil things in robes of sorrow assail the monarch's high state. Ah, let us mourn, for never morrow shall dawn upon him desolate. And round about his home the glory that blushed and bloomed is but a dim remembered story of the old time and tumbled. And travelers now within that valley, through the red litten window see vast forms that move fantastically to a discordant melody, while, like a rapty ghastly river, through the pale door, a hideous strong rush out forever and lost, but smile no more.